Hello everybody, my name is Scarlett Keegan and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I am going to be discussing the little techniques I use to help dial in my feminine walk. Also in this video I have updated the music theme song to my channel, my little intro music that I use for videos. I have updated that and I've added a couple little riffs to that and I am unveiling that in this video. It's also in the in the spirit of the video, the walking the walking theme. I went to downtown Austin and got a few shots of strutting around there downtown, so I included those in the little music intro. And just this one time, it's going to be a little bit of it of an extended version. So, aren't you in a treat for that one? Anyways, let's get this video started. So moving right along, let's see, I have broken this video up into three different sections. I broke it up in the posture, I broke it up into the techniques that I use as I'm walking, and I broke it up into some little things that I do if I want to add some flair or some attitude to my walk. So I have watched quite a few videos on walking like a lady and feminine walking and stuff like that. And I think the number one thing that everybody talks about is posture. Now, my posture that I use is, first of all, stand up straight. I think that's a big, the, basically the key to everything. Stand up straight, shoulders back. I've seen some people say the way they put their shoulders back is they will raise them up and then rotate them back. So stand up straight, shoulders back, chin up. Chin up, I believe that's like a... A confidence thing keep your chin up and what I try to do also is I try to I try to arch my back I try to arch my back a little bit obviously that's a little bit exaggerated but I think standing up straight just naturally creates standing up straight I think helps you automatically put your shoulders back and arch your back and I also try to suck my tummy in a little bit so that's basically the posture that I use and that's like the fundamental for everything is having that good posture. Okay, now that I've got my posture set, it's time to work on technique. I feel like the number one technique, the number one thing that I try to focus on is when I'm stepping, when I'm walking, is putting one foot directly in front of the other. One foot directly in front of the other. I think that's a huge key. It's such a feminine trait. And I think uh, I think having one foot in front of the other just helps create a natural feminine looking curve. I feel like that's very feminine just right there. That goes a long way. It, it creates kind of like a little like a little V and that's definitely a feminine thing. You don't, you do not want to be standing, taking steps with your feet apart. That's for sure. That's very much, it seems like to be a masculine trait, walking with your feet apart. You know, a lot of guys will kind of hunch over. They got to get their swag going on. I don't want none of that. I want, I want to be creating creating as much feminine qualities as I can and just just keeping that one foot in front of the other as you're walking that goes a very long way so the next thing I try to work on is soft feet I don't want to be stomping as I'm walking I don't want to be making all this noise I want nice little soft feet one in front of the other just nice little soft feet, a nice little quiet walk. Just 
that's another very feminine quality is a nice little soft quiet walk as far as my arms go I don't I don't really try to do anything too crazy with my arms one thing I try to focus on is I focus more on making sure that I'm going back with it because I feel like that helps reinforce the shoulders back if I'm if I'm making sure that I'm coming back with it and that's keeping my shoulders back and then it just kind of comes forward naturally it just kind of comes forward naturally our nice little quiet feet one foot in front of the other and trying to keep those shoulders back and just a nice little arm swing and we have ourselves a nice little dainty walk going on one thing that I think is a big key to all of this technique is balance if we're if we're trying to walk with one foot in front of the other we darn sure can't be you know losing our balance we we've, we've got to have balance I find myself working on balance all the time throughout the day if I see a curb or a straight line in the concrete or anything any kind of straight line I'm on that line and I'm trying to work on my balance constantly because I don't want to be I don't want to be clumsy and oh losing my balance I don't want that that's not very ladylike I just want a nice balanced walk a nice balanced soft walk with one foot in front of the other another good quality to a feminine walk we've got our chin up I think it's very nice to have eye contact with people I think it's very nice to have eye contact with people and a nice little smile we've got our little walk going on we've got our nice little walk going on and a little eye contact and a smile I think that just helps make your walk more pleasant well to, to anyone around to anyone who might be walking beside you passing you as you're walking just a nice little smile and some eye contact with your chin up I don't know it's just it's just a friendly thing to do a lot of people especially now will just be walking head down maybe on their phone or whatever or just walking looking at the ground I don't know to add a nice little pleasantness to my walk I definitely try to have some eye contact going on and a little smile one word that I really love associated with feminine walking and walking like a lady one word that I really love is the word floating I've heard that I've heard that word used quite often when it comes to feminine walking is you're floating you're just floating across the room I think I'm kind of shooting for a dainty walk a lot of the time just a nice little dainty walk just I don't know just a little happy pleasant dainty walk I would sure rather have a dainty walk than let's say a masculine walk that's for sure I don't know it seems like there's it seems like there's different uh, different forms different styles of feminine walking and I think I try to utilize a lot of those I definitely try to utilize a little dainty walk sometimes the little soft feet the, the feminine one foot in front of the other the nice little arm swing and the smile and the eye contact just a nice little dainty walk if I'm on a little stroll but anyways as far as technique goes that's basically the gist of of the the techniques that uh, that I try to apply and I try to ingrain in my head are those techniques right there okay so we've got our posture we've got our techniques for a nice little soft dainty walk if we want to add a little bit of flair a little bit of attitude to our walk one thing we can definitely do is wear some heels
I don't know if too many things say attitude and flair like a good pair of heels. But one thing is for sure, your balance has definitely got to be on. You do you do not want to be walking in a pair of heels and do do that number. Oh no. Your balance has definitely got to be on. One thing that I really love about heels is I feel like it does a lot of the work for you or at least helps you out especially especially in the hips. If I'm wanting to add some flair, if I'm wanting to add some flair to my walk, then one thing I definitely do is I will try to like lift my hip as I'm stepping. As I'm stepping with that leg, I'll try to kick that hip out a little bit. Another little thing that I'll do, I've got my heels, I've got my hips, I've got my hips kicked out as I'm walking. Another little thing that I'll do for just a little bit more attitude is pucker my lips just a little bit. You know, like just just bringing that attitude all around. And one thing that definitely is a feminine trait when you're walking one thing that just like signals to someone's head female is if I'm carrying a phone I'll like lift it up and carry it carry it like that like kind of kick it out with my wrist bent as I'm walking my puckered lips I don't know those are a few things that that I do if I'm if I'm wanting a little bit more swag with my walk definitely definitely the heels but the heels get to hurt in my feet after a while but I don't care if I'm if I'm going for the attitude I definitely want the heels and I feel like the heels help you just by having the heels alone I feel like it helps you get some hip swing going but I definitely when I'm walking will try to kick that hip out, kick that hip out a little bit. I'm basically just raising. I'm not so much, I'm not so much stepping and swaying my hips. I'm more, when I'm walking, just raising that hip. And that's a little bit exaggerated, but just try to raise it and it, it just helps kick it out a little bit which adds which adds a little bit of flair to your walk and of course the puckered lips like I got attitude my little phone kicked out maybe even like that with your hands oh yeah So anyways, let's see, posture, technique, little things that work on, that help your attitude, I don't know, um, that is about it for this video, thank you for stopping by, we'll see you next time, bye bye.